going on everyone uh, doing the lithium versus uh, EGM testing videos the AGM videos are gonna be referencing Kevin Ross's YouTube videos um, extremely credible straightforward easy to understand and uh, consistent so uh, I'm gonna be using those videos to basically compare which has the best discharge per dollar um, also I'll be doing a recharge time test just to let you guys know which um, lithium battery will have the best recharge time 82 degrees today I don't know if that matters to you it matters to some people because temperature can affect lithium so um, I'm going to be charging it to 14.4 in between each draw. Um, I'm going to do, for, for the Winston, 90 amp hour, I'm going to do a total of 90 amps, total of 270 amps, and then a total of 450 amps. Um, I'm only going to be clamping one input of my four total inputs. So what we're going to do is take 90, 270, 450, and divide that by four. And then that's going to be our target amperage. And then we're going to watch the uh, voltage drop during each test. Uh, test tones, it's going to be 28 hertz. Um, that's just the frequency where my truck pulls the most amperage, where I have the least amount of rise. Now, people are probably thinking this is a $635 battery versus a $1,600 battery, which is the JY. Um, how is that fair and it's not so what I'm gonna do to keep it fair is do the JY getting two and a half times more amperage per test than this because it costs two and a half times more that's gonna be pretty much apples to apples it's gonna tell you what has the most discharge per dollar um, and then once all that's done we're gonna do uh, we're going to cross-reference Kevin's AGM test my battery videos. Uh, I think that's all I can think of. If, if there's anything else, I'll edit it in. But, here we go. Shit. All right, we got the recharge portion of the Winston battery. Basically, what we're doing is playing uh, two minutes of solid base, and then turning the base off, resetting timer, and then starting it and seeing how long it takes to get back up to about we'll call it fourteen three because the alt's probably gonna be a little a little bit hot. Um, I'll do the draw. I'll show the draw. Um, compared to the voltage, you'll see it decrease over time. And uh, that's it. I'll start the timer when the bass starts on the song. There's a little bit of an intro on the song. DJ Slow and Slow.
Sorry, it's a lot to juggle. Six thirty eight to get to fourteen three. There we go. What's up, everyone? This is the uh, JY portion of the test. Uh, only thing I want to really cover is it's seventy nine right now instead of eighty one. It should be a non factor, but I just it's just something I have to disclose. Um, I had to change some of this wiring because the way the battery sits in here. Um, it wouldn't fit right so I had to tilt it this way and then these wires didn't reach here yada 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 so these cables had to get extended a few inches these had to get extended a few inches and then these got um, shortened a few inches so I don't see it making a difference at all but it's just something I want to let you guys know because it did change but um, I don't think it's going to make any difference because the distances are so short already. So we're still doing a 20 second, 28 hertz test tone, um, pulling voltage from the terminals, uh, clamping one input, multiplying that amperage by four and getting our amperage. I think that's pretty much it, so uh, on to the tests, I guess. JY80 recharge, truck is on, two minutes of base, then we're cutting the base off and then charging how much it takes to get to 14.3, same as the Winston.
rock my car. Bitch, go slam my door. Fuck the boys, my hoe. They know my deal, keep that crew. Fuck the boys. We'll add a few seconds in that, in the end, for where I was fumbling with this thing. All right, so here we've got the full throttle 34 dropping to 11.84 volts, drawing 67 amps. North Star Group 31 dropping to 11.63 volts, drawing 113 amps. SMS 80 North Star dropping to 11.52 volts, drawing 120 amps. Then we have the SMS 220 North Star dropping to 11.76 volts, drawing 107 amps. Now we've got here the Lithium versus AGM comparisons. Um, we're using the 450 amps on the Winston as a baseline reference, pretty much. Um, we've got 11.88 volts, and we're going to use Kevin Ross's uh, Test My Battery YouTube videos using his Carbon Pile load tester. It's pretty straightforward, as I said earlier, um, easy to understand, and consistent so uh, to equal out to about 450 amps I took the amperage that was being drawn at the given voltage and figured how many batteries it would take to reach that amperage and that voltage will be the same um, once you have that many batteries at that many amps per battery um, Breaking down the cost, the weight, and the cubic inches of each individual battery and situation. And you see that there is huge, vast differences in between each. Um, it's pretty significant. I don't even know why this is still a thing. I don't know why it came to the point I had to make this video. But it is what it is. Here it is laid out. And I'll link the YouTube videos in the description so you guys can look at those yourself. I know I didn't do them myself. I don't have the resources, but Kevin is credible enough where uh, he can give some good info and good consistent info that's reliable. Um, in our most extreme, we see 304 pounds and... The Winston and the JY are matching that uh, 450 amps and doing it at a little better voltage and uh, way less room taken up and way less money. <laughs>